Yo, what's going on? We're starting back up right in the same place we left off. And we're about to start our first actual area. Or what I think is our first actual area. And we'll kind of actually get to see how this game's going to go for us. Our combat practice at the end of last time didn't go too well. But hopefully we can learn a lot of those skills. We can now instantly travel between sculptors' idols that have already been communed with. Travel can be accessed via a sculptor's idol travel menu. Cool. Oh, and then you can gotta... But the dilapidated... Oh, this is important places. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Alright, uh, so we can go down there. Did that, like, have a line through it? There's also a man over there. Oh, there's an item right there. Grab that. Ungo sugar. Sugar candy made in Senpu Temple. Sustaining Ungo's blessing temporarily reduces vitality damage taken from physical attacks. Bite the candy and take the Ungo stance to impart its inhuman benediction. By doing so, you endure the excess karma of man from the spirits within. Senpu monks spread this candy across Ashina in honor of their of her military heroes. Alrighty. Maybe we'll put that on the hot bar. But we got a lot of things on the hot bar. So we're probably mainly gonna be using the healing. I gotta remember what heal actually is, because I know I'm gonna press X all the time to heal. Where? Who am I fighting? Oh, there. Enemies drop loot, such as items, money, multiple enemies can be looted at once, and from some distance away, items found in the world are different than loot in that they must be approached to be picked up. Press and hold X to acquire loot. Press X near world item. Pick up item. Okay, so... What? Oh. We can kind of just, like, suck loot into us. Interesting. The one problem I see with the areas being so vertical is it's gonna be a lot harder for me to explore everything. Or at least know that I've explored everything. Come at me. You're gonna have to try harder than that. Okay. Fair enough. Don't spam. Can you do something? Oh my lordy. You can cycle through various quick items and use each according to the situation. For instance, if you have taken damage, you can recover vitality with the helical. So what happens to these items? Do they just kind of float here? Then we could do that. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I need to work on my combat a little bit. I need to take it slower. I'm trying to go too fast. A piece of pottery that breaks with a satisfying crack when thrown. Throw it at an enemy to draw their attention. Throwing and smashing such pieces made for a popular sport amongst Ashina boys. Even after growing up, they remember the old games well. Hmm. 
I feel like maybe we want to take on this area down here first. And we probably should heal. Well, that went well. I didn't actually know whether that would work or not. But it does seem to have worked. More medical pellets. This item right here. More ceramic shards. We might actually want the ceramic shards instead of the other stuff that we have. Like, we're probably not going to use these for now. But we might actually try and attract people. Although we probably aren't going to use the Buddha on our hotbar at all. We'll leave it there, whatever. Doesn't matter. Suppose we can't grapple over there, huh? This grapple thing is definitely cool. side of this door. So the door can't be opened. Maybe we can approach this guy with stealth? Let's find out. appears to also have an item. Ceramic shard. So maybe we should try out one of these ceramic shards. He doesn't appear to care. <laughs> oh! Oh no! <laughs> oh boy, what a way to die. I forgot. I thought I had a little bit more room behind that wall. Experience for the day. A current scent in your hand are halved upon death. Everything is law is gone for good. There is no means to escape this loss. However, there are. Hmm. All right. So if you fall off a cliff, you just stray loose half your stuff. Keep that in mind. Lock on the enemy. Jump. Plunging death blow. Alright, so I guess we accidentally did that last time. So we can't reach that one? We should probably try and like test how far that actually goes. It's 
the whole looting thing. Alright, so we got two pieces of loot. Let's go all the way down here and see. Oh, so we never picked up the loot from that guy over there? But it did work at that range, so that's cool, I suppose. Alright, so let's try this situation again over here. And we'll try not to run off the cliff for no reason. He appears to still know I'm here. Now where'd the other guy go? Suck up all these items. Some more ash. More pellets. Might actually want to use one of these pellets. More of the sugar. Can we get up on top of that building? a dog. Oh boy. Any items? Does not appear so. get on top of this building, can we? It looks like it. Maybe not through the means that I would have liked. But we do appear to have been able to get up here. I'm curious if there's actually fall damage or not. Because so far this game would lead me to believe there is not fall damage. Is that a chicken? The giant rooster? Why did it attack me? <laughs> it didn't have to die, it just like wanted to die. Respawn everyone. Where are all the dogs? Oh, they don't really care. But... Okay, maybe you do care. You seem. No, you don't care. Alright. Is that a guy? Shuriken wheel, a mechanical device made by the mechanical genius Dogen, can be fit into the Shinobi prosthetic to become a working prosthetic tool. While in, while it is palm size, and a surprising number of shuriken can fit into the shuriken wheel, as the edges were designed for stacking. A fine example of what can be achieved when one matches mechanical finesse with the Shinobi's talent. That's cool. 
Shinobi tools can't be used on their own. By giving them to the sculptor, they can be fitted to the Shinobi prosthetic. You can quickly return to the sculptor via travel from the sculptor idol or by using a homeward idol. Go get that real quick. At this dilapidated temple. ギシュは牙じゃというとが人魚を仕込むことでその牙は形を変えることができるようになる形立てならば打ち砕き素早き敵ならば仕留め打つ仕込んだ人魚が増えるだけ敵を殺す術も増えるじゃろう殺す相手
Okay, we already figured out the safety roll. have roosters back. I'm trying to see if we can use this catapult for anything, but I kind of doubt it. And I don't think we could go this way because I think we'll die. So I think we gotta go this way. is going to be a little bit tough. Some enemies are unguardable. Perilous attacks signify with a danger symbol. When these occur, watch carefully and try to respond properly as each type requires a specific response. As thrust lands deflect before sweep lands jump and before grab lands step dodge all right okay so that's the sweep Another sweep. Okay, that was supposed to be a step dodge. Oh, Jesus. The divine heir's blood grants the ability to root from the dead using resurrective power. One charge is always restored by resurrecting or by resting at a sculptor's idol. Killing enemies restores additional charges. Resurrection becomes unusable immediately after using it, but killing enemies will make it available again. Maximum vitality and posture. Currently, the wolf has one bead in his possession. Lord Seed. Seed from which healing waters continuously spring forth. Give to Emma to increase the maximum uses of healing gourd. The twisted gourd of medical waters was known throughout Ashina since long ago, but it was the extraordinary healer Dogen and his pupil Emma who discovered the self replenishing nature of this seed. Alrighty. Well, that was exciting. So I think we can kind of see in the bottom left that little like clock symbol is how much 
our resurrect is recharged probably. Ashes. All right, so let's kind of scope out this area. We got a guy down there. Quite a few people to deal with at the moment. More ceramic shards. Actually getting into like lots of stuff going on. We have quite a bit of money now too. Alright, did we miss any items while we were frantically running? not to just fall off the cliff, probably. What? Where'd you come from? Ooh. Amiibo Balloon of Wealth. Amiibo balloon filled with the with fountain head water imbued with a blessing of wealth. If one pops the golden Amiibo balloon and prays those its water splashes upon will acquire more coin for a short period of time. Means aquatic life or life born of water. The Ashina considered the fountain head water itself to be worthy of worship. Interesting. So I guess we also probably could have done a lot of this area stealthily. I'm trying to figure out if we can get on top of this, but there doesn't appear to be a way to. Is there anything down here? No, I, I don't really feel like jumping off the cliff at the moment. I don't know this lady. 
腹でも痛いかのそなたは昔から腹を下しやすかったな<笑>まあよいせがれよこの鈴をそなたに託そう若さまのことを暗示作った守り鈴じゃこの守り鈴を仏様にお供えしておくれ。Young Lord's Bell Charm. A bell charm received from an old woman who asked that it be offered to Buddha. Bell charms protect their holders through Buddha's divine protection. If one finds themselves the owner of another's bell charm, offering it to Buddha on their behalf is common courtesy. The sculpture at the dilapidated temple can advise on how it should be offered. Okie dokie. イノスケ守り鈴ほら偏屈な物資がお仏様なら。So we should probably deal with this now, so don't forget about this lady. The question is, where is a good place to teleport? Oh, Jesus. Something inside here. Ah, uh, it looks like we also could have gone here. Okay, I like it. So I would like to try and offer this, but. Oh, there was a body there that I should have inspected. That is all. Like, I want to do that now, but I don't want to run all the way back to the sculpture. What the heck? They have a cannon? I didn't think he'd be able to shoot at me if he couldn't see me. 
Dang it. Well, at least we can turn some stuff in, I suppose. There's not, like, picking up your stuff, so... Has been unlocked in the Sculptor's Item menu. Here you can spend your prayer beads to create a prayer necklace, which will permanently increase your vitality and posh. Fair enough. So let's go back to the dilapidated bridge and try and do this little mini quest thing. どのようなオレは人とび死んだ。だが巫女様の声が聞こえ気づけば再び生きていた。人とび死んだ。今再び生きている。ならばそれは改正でしょう。黒様の龍院の巫女の力と言われています改正の力を与えられた者は死してなお蘇る幾度でも馬鹿はいおかしなことですですが現に起きているまた変わったことがあれば知らせてください改正の力は何も見返りを求めぬとは思えぬのです。狼殿、よく参られました。氷炭の種とこれか。はい。それをこちらに種を氷炭に植え付けます。よし。これで薬水のかさが増すでしょう妙な薬だ妙ですかうん悪い気はしません貢献があれば奇妙と思うことでもいさんですべしそれが我が師道元の教えですのでそうか氷炭の種を見つけたならば また持ってきてください薬水のかさ増しをしましょう白い矢沢ならば龍院を受けた者あるよおや何やらチリンとああこの鈴だろ仏に備えろと渡された あなたにゆかりのある鈴でしょうかならば武士殿と話してみてはどうですか仏のことならばあの人が詳しいでしょうあの人が詳しいでしょう。That's cool. So like while you have an item, other people will kind of mention that you have the item. え、なんだ。Shinobi Esoteric Text, a book of secrets that details a variety of techniques employed by Shinobi, grants the ability to learn Shinobi style skills. Within this text are the innermost secrets of the Shinobi arts, such as attacks performed in the air and hiding one's body to avoid detection. <laughs> Detection. Such moves could never be practiced by samurai. これを忍びの技じゃ。侍には真似できぬ。忍びの戦う術が書いてある。まあ、どうするかはお前さん次第よ。戦う術など忍びだけでもあるまいって。Owning an esoteric text of a combat style will allow you to use its 
will allow its skills to be acquired in the Sculptor's Idol skill menu. Each enemy defeated provides skill experience. Skill points are acquired once ex enough experience is gained, which can be spent to unlock skills. Some skills can, be, can also be learned by obtaining items or defeating enemies. Interesting. なんだと。鈴を お前さんもいつか掘ってみればわかるだろうさ。それで何か用か。うん。ではな、また久しくらいになる。All right, let's check out this thing. Okay. Have it. So this is three years ago, huh? The Acquire Skills menu has been unlocked in the Sculptor's Idol menu. New skills can be learned by spending skill points in this menu. There's so much going on right now. New skills can be acquired by spending skill points at the skill menu. New combat styles can be learned through obtaining esoteric texts for each style. There are three types of skills, combat arts, shinobi martial arts, and latent skills. Combat arts must be equipped to be used, but shinobi martial arts and latent skills are always in effect upon being acquired. Enables one to counter enemy thrust attacks by stomping down on an enemy's weapon, dealing a large amount of damage to posture. It is nearly impossible to perce perceive the speed of a thrust, but not for the sharp eyes of a shinobi. A spinning attack that can hit several enemies at once. The sharp cut combined with the force of the spin can strike multiple foes and deal damage even when guarded. When surrounded by enemies, the shinobi technique can cut open a path to victory. Alright, I think we should probably get that, because we only have one point anyways. Yeah, give it to me. How do we equip it? Uh... Combat arts are special attack skills based on the strength of the fighting style they belong to. They must be equipped in the equipment menu to be used and can be learned through the skill menu or found in special esoteric texts to perform a combat art. Alright, which ones is the combat art? Only one combat art can be equipped at a time. Alright, fair enough.
Ooh. Alright, that's cool. I like it. Well, I think that is a good spot to take a quick break. We will be right back.